Hey, Kat here. In the last tutorial I talked a little bit about mouse events and I mentioned something about creating clickable regions. So I thought I'd quickly explain what I mean by that and how we can create them and how we can test if, if somebody has clicked within that region. So let's say we've got this applet on the right and let's say that we wanted a region inside there We'll go with a square region because they're much easier to work with. We've got a square there which we want to be our clickable region and that will behave in one way and if we click outside that region we want it to behave another way. When the mouse is pressed or clicked or at least whichever um, action you want it to respond to you need to get the X and the Y of where the mouse is. And then what you want to say is is it inside this region? So is the X, so we need the X of the outer edge and the further edge. So you're asking is the X of the mouse between the two? So is it greater than, I'm just going to put here left edge, left edge, and it's also got to be smaller than the right edge. Then we've also got to test for the Y. So is the Y of the mouse greater than the top edge? And is it also less than the bottom edge? So if the X is greater than the left edge and smaller than the right edge as well as being as well as the Y being greater than the top edge and smaller than the bottom edge that means that it must be in that region. Let's give ourselves some coordinates to work with just to um, show how we would actually write this in a statement. So let's say my X point there is so I'll put the top left corner and the top and the bottom right corner so let's say the top left was at 50, 50, and let's say the bottom was at 150, 150. Um, what we would write in our statement is we would have an if, and we would say if x is greater than 50 and x is less than 50 and y is oh sorry x is less than 150 and y is greater than 50 and y is less than 150 then we're going to do stuff because it's inside that region else we're going to do other stuff so let's have a quick look at coding this one on on Eclipse and creating a response to happen to check if our test works okay so in Eclipse I've just created a a new file, a new class called mouse events click regions. You can call it whatever you like, and I've put it in my events project folder. So in the main content of my uh, of my class, I've imported java.awt and java.applet as per usual. I've also imported java.awt.event because using a mouse listener is an event. So I've got my class, I've extended applet, and I've implemented mouse listener. So I've put in, so far I've only put in all my default methods. So I've got init, paint, mouse clicked, mouse entered, mouse exited, mouse pressed, and mouse released. Okay, so in preparation, we're going to need an X and a Y variable because that's going to get where the mouse was clicked. So in X and Y. And um, I need to decide, am I going to have it responding to pressed, clicked, or released? I might have it on pressed. So x is equal to checking the, you know, what triggered the event, and that object is called e, so e.getx, and y is equal to e.gety. And then, of course, we need to, if we want that new information to go anywhere, we need to repaint the screen. 
So basically what I would like to do is I want to put a rectangle in the screen. So it's going to be draw a rectangle. Um, I will make it, I might just use what I had before, which was 50, 50. And I said that the, the outer edge of that was 150. That means that it would be 100 wide and 100 high. And I'm going to make, I'm going to draw that as an outline and I'm going to make it a black outline. Gosh, I'm a bit slow today. Okay, black outline of a square. Let's just see if that appears in our screen. Okay, so we've got a a outline of a rectangle and what I want to do is I want it to, to respond that if I've clicked or pressed within that square that the square goes green and if I've clicked in the region outside the square then I want the square to be red. So what I'm basically going to say is if the X of the mouse is greater than 50 and if it is less than 150 and the Y is greater than 50 and the Y is less than 150 so if it's within those regions open bracket G dot set color I want the color to be green green is go we clicked in the right spot and we want to have g dot fill oval, sorry not oval, rectangle for those coordinates which is 50, 50, 100, 100. Okay. Else, if they've clicked outside of that region, I'm going to copy that, but I'm going to set it to red. So if they clicked within the region, it should fill that rectangle in with a green color, and if not, it should fill it in with red. Now because X and Y are currently zero, um, it may, in the first round, already fill it out as red. Okay, so it is red. And it is not changing to green. Sorry about that. I know I harp on about adding the listeners and then in true form, I forget them myself. Okay, let's try again. So it starts off as red and woohoo, it goes green. Red, green, red, green. Now I think in theory if I click right on the very, very edge, um, I may get sort of a little bit of, you know, did I click on it or didn't I? Uh, but that's because it's on exactly 50 and the, the drawing is exactly on 50. So, uh, But it does work. So that's creating an editable region. So you check for the X boundaries, the Y boundaries, and you check that the X is within the X's and the Y is within the Y's. So apart from my little mistake for getting the listener, that's actually a fairly easy set of code. So you can have multiple checks. Now... My students from experience have used this type of code when trying to write games that are little mazes. So that's one example of where you might use this.